Hi guys, it's Mark Zickview, Mr. Sci-Fi, also known as Mark Zickview, Space Command. And uh, <laughs> I'm in my Prometheus promotional shirt. Uh, Prometheus, of course, being one of the greatest movies ever made, if you just ignore what the people are saying in the foreground. And uh, <laughs> because it is gorgeous to look at. Uh, but um, that's not what we're here to talk about today. In my last um, Mr. Sci-Fi, I mentioned Soylent Green, the movie, the great movie uh, starring Charlton Heston that is set in a dystopic future of 2022. And, uh, and uh, of course, I, you know, Charlton Heston made a great trilogy of films, uh, 1968, you know, through like 70, 71. <clears throat> and one of them, of course, was Soylent Green, based on No Room, Make Room, Make Room by Harry Harrison. Uh, one of them was The Omega Man, based on I Am Legend by Richard Matheson. And the other, of course, was Monkey Planet, based on the novel by Pierre Boulle. Now, you may not know a movie called Monkey Planet, because the Amer this is the British first edition. The American first edition was called, of course, Planet of the Apes. So um, if you haven't seen any of those three, go out immediately, see them. They're wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. So, um, <clears throat> but that said, one of the things I mentioned was uh, that uh, in, in Soylent Green in the movie, uh, and you know, cover yours if you don't want spoilers, in Soylent Green the movie, Charlton Heston is a cop in this dystopic, overpopulated world uh, suffering climate change. There's a lot of elements that are very predictive of the world we're living in. And, uh, but people eat this uh, cracker and, or, you know, or it's a synthetic food. And it's called Soylent. And you have Soylent Red, and you have Soylent, Soylent Yellow, but the main one is Soylent Green. <clears throat> and at the end of the movie, very famously, uh, Charlton Heston, you know, is yelling out, Soylent Green is made of people! It's made out of people! You know, so, uh, so I thought, and then I mentioned that there is actually a company now making Soylent, a, a food uh, substitute. And I thought, well, <clears throat> you know, I'd, I'd buy some Soylent Green, uh, and I would try it. So I've not tasted this yet. It is Soylent Green, and uh, let's see how it is. Here it is, Soylent Green. Let's let's see what it tastes like. So here we are. I have not been paid to endorse this product. <laughs> so let's see. Well, it's not bad. Uh, uh, sort of tastes like um, people. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm actually going to uh, cross out the ingredients on this and write in people because I just um, uh, roll that kind of way. So, but I'm, you know, anyway, uh, yeah, pays your money, take your chances. So uh, beyond that, uh, we're moving along with Space Command. We're editing it. It's coming along great. We're planning the big shoot in November, December with the creatures. We're uh, writing the production drafts of the other six hours of season one. We're getting ready to shoot... Um, Sweet Haven and the other shows that we're doing as the Showrunners Network. Uh, if you haven't bought Green Lighting yourself, my new book, go go for it. It's basically talking about how you've got a movie studio in your pocket. Everybody does, and uh, how you can make fame and fortune come your way. So, and then <clears throat> you know everything's going great. Uh, we're going to be setting up a MarkZickby.com website that'll be sort of the road uh, that leads to everything else because there's you know books I've written. Uh, one of our table members mentioned that. Uh, Green lighting yourself, she just bought it and read it and thought it was terrific, but it was underrepresented on Amazon. And if you've bought it and want to post a positive review of it on Amazon, that would be great. And uh, but she also mentioned that the, the website isn't up, which I know. Uh, there is one website, of course, space command hyphen the series.com, it'll be listed right down there. Uh, additionally, if you uh, want to throw some money our way via Patreon, uh, you know, right now. We're, we're, we've got over 88,000 subscribers, and uh, if every one of them gave me five bucks, I'd be able to make Space Command without selling Space Command shares. But sadly, that is not the case. But if you would like to throw some money my way, just go to Patreon slash Mark Zickry, and uh, that will be greatly appreciated. And uh, so that's sort of the main stuff for now. Not a long one today, uh, because there's going to be uh, much longer ones coming. I'm going to do... Um, uh, Mr. Sci-Fi videos about my spacesuit collection and about my wall, not this wall, but the one over there that has all sorts of cool stuff on it. And I'll go through that. Uh, a lot of it has to do with people I've known and things I've done. And, uh, and then, you know, well, and if you have ideas for things you want me to talk about on Mr. Sci-Fi, I know people want me to talk about the Orville 
uh, and uh, there's just tons and tons and tons of stuff. But uh, mainly we're writing, directing, producing, living the dream, and it's terrific. It's really fun, and I'm so glad you guys are part of it. If you haven't bought your Blu-ray or DVD or digital download of the first two hours of Space Command, do it there. It's got tons of extras that are available nowhere else. Uh, deleted and extended scenes, uh, commentaries, yeah, tons of stuff. So including um, uh, convention appearances by our cast, including our dear Mira Furlan. And uh, so that's about it for now. Uh, we'll be doing a live stream Mr. Sci-Fi in the near future. And uh, beyond that, you know, have a good time, stay safe, and we will talk again really soon. Bye, guys.